Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important, I am balding. This is a wig. Dude, I suck so bad. I just had like balls ricochet off my throat. Stick with it. Stick with it. You know, just stick with it. You trust these guys, you trust their taste. Stick with it. It's going to pan out, it's going to be good. Let's go. There's a mystery today. We've cut some dead weight. Bam, bam, bam. Well, yep. Last uh, Bye, episode, bitch. Durs, you offended us, and Dude, now yeah. we were pissed. <laughs> Durs was like being oh yeah, the bitch. And- in the last episode, we said, bye, bitch. Yeah, that's enough. We thought it might be a good idea for us to, in our careers right now, distance ourselves. <laughs> yeah, we but... think... <laughs> yeah. The, the... Uh, do you feel... See ya. <laughs> Is Durs the most cancelable? Who's the most cancelable out of the four of us? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Ooh. He's just a jerk. Yeah. We... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah Durs. 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 He's yeah, not Durs. here. Durs. All right. Durs. Hey, see ya, bitch. <laughs> bye. Uh... Uh, that being said, he uh, he had a prior engagement. He could not join this podcast. And we said, you know what? Fuck it! <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, yeah, the bitch. That's a huge bitch. So this podcast is going to be a lot of stingers from the board, right, Blake? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go in, man. Screw that guy. Yeah, dude, hit us with it. I'm so pissed at him. I'm pissed now! Oh, yeah. Classic. Classic. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, I'm sorry to bail on the podcast so quickly. Okay, what are you but... doing? <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, Where are you I going? I forgot how hot okay. my house was. I have to turn the AC down. It's 85 degrees in this house. Okay. It's still me... hot okay. from okay. last so, week. And hey, then there me, were two. <laughs> give me 30 seconds. Just keep, just Frick, just see talk about yourselves. It's I'll been, be right back. It's and been then one there week. were two. Wow. Hi, Kyle. Oh, what's up, Blazer? How, How are, are you, buddy? Brother? What are you <laughs> up to, man? I saw you oh, in Canada recently. I was traveling, yeah. Hitting up the Vancouver. Uh, you know. How's the parents? I heard, that, what are they? Uh, they're driving cross country? Or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're, well, they're actually over there right now. They're on the East Coast uh, in their oh, RV, East Coast he's Canada. Back. Yeah. Hey, yeah. there we go. Uh, enough back. about them, you know. <laughs> what about. Uh... <laughs> Wait, no. East Coast Canada, we're talking like Montreal? They're like on the furthest east. Like two days ago, they were on the furthest east, eastern point of North America. Like my mom was <laughs> fucking hyped on being one of the first people to watch the sunrise in North America. Oh, uh, yeah. That seems like a, your mom yeah. would get hyped on things. She was so hyped. It's all it first. Cool. First. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no one else saw that. <laughs> so, but we don't know what this area is called. What this? Uh, what are they over there? Providence? What are? What do they call? Oh man, you're gonna make me bust a province, province. So your parents are on like a giant road trip. Oh, are they yeah. in an RV? Is that what's happening? Yeah, yeah, they're in an RV and they tow their Jeep. My dad has a. Do they own this RV? Did they go? They go retirement style. Bought a sick ass RV. Yep. Yep, That's they bought an sick. RV and now they tow a Jeep Gladiator behind it because my dad's gotten deep into like four wheeling and stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. My God, Hell Becky, yeah. I love this. <laughs> Fuck it. He goes out with his buds out in the in the forest because his other bud has a Jeep too, and they like. And then they just off road. Yeah, they and they chain they fucking chain trees and move them out of the way so they can get through and stuff. You can't do that. Wait, wait, wait what? <laughs> you can't do what? No, can't what do you mean? Like you can't already, do that? No, like an already felled <laughs> tree. Yes, you can. A felled? Did you say felled tree? I did yeah. say felled hey, tree. And felled isn't a word. Yes, right? it is. I think it is. It felled. Is. <laughs> it is. Felled? An already yeah. felled tree. An already felled tree. If I you... do. Felled is not a word. <laughs> no, no, it is. It is. It's You're a fell. stupid I had dumbass. To, like, if you have to take a tree down, you say, I, had to, I have to fell this tree. And how would you spell felled? I think it's F E L L E. Here we go. I think Wait, it's... put your votes in now. Is Fe- fell the word? I say yes. Hey, Feld. you're right, dude. Fell. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. a dumbass. I've never heard anyone say, I've seen fallen trees. Of course. Well, felled is when you do it 
on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a fallen no. tree. It's just the tree was felled, right? It's like it, that's what happened, I think. I, I, I thought felled was... Probably sound like an absolute idiot right now, but this is my understanding of it. Dude, oh, I love... I can't wait for someone to get a hold of this little clip. It's three fucking <laughs> yeah, idiots. This is... Without uh, Durst, without Durst to like steer us back to, <laughs> this will be our dumbest <laughs> podcast yet. <laughs> yeah, the dumbest podcast Dude, yet. Idiots. I thought felled was like when you you cut the tree down, like it was man cutting a tree down, like it was a felled. Yeah, that's when you say like I ha I have to fell this tree. Maybe a tree is not no. felling. Yes. No, because then there's a fallen tree, but we're there's talking about fallen. felled. Well, Adam's a the tree. one with Adam's the one with the with the uh, what's it called? Hard stance. No, he's not looking at Wikipedia. <laughs> no, he just he's... put it in uh, and said saw if there was a red line underneath that you misspelled the word. <laughs> <laughs> what does he got? No, he's I, got the I dictionary. looked it up. And... Yeah, what is it I called? Looked... A dictionary. <laughs> well, I just typed in felled in Google, man. How do you look up words? You go to dictionary.com. That's one too. That's a step too far. That's a one two step. That's a one two <laughs> step. You lose. So, uh, 33 million trees are felled each day. <laughs> this is big. Which is an insane thing to say. <laughs> I feel yeah. like we this need must em. be some like old timey, like George Washington would say, felled. We must fell these trees down to build the first road. <laughs> I feel like Austin. I feel like Austin says fell. I feel like no, your buddy felled. Austin. He well, felled felled the tree. is the only way to say I'm chopping down a tree. You felled it. Right. You can't say I'm chopping down this tree. <laughs> well, you say I'm cutting the tree down. You're not you, you don't say I'm felding a tree. I think people in the industry what the Dude. logging industry? I'm Which talking is huge lumber in Canada. Jacks, bitch. Yeah. Huge in Canada. I saw all the logs in the rivers up there. It's so okay. sick. So Yes, sick. we're talking Canada. Which Now I know. Yeah, we're 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 talking real Canada shit. Yeah. How much of Canada have you have you covered? Well, we still don't know where they are. Is that Nova Scotia? Where, where? Oh, I forgot. I I gotta I gotta pick that up. I think it's like New um, Prince Edward Island or something like that. Remember back in the day when Blake uh, didn't like Canada, and then now he's like so <laughs> pro Canada. Remember he when he had that hard stance in the writers' room of Workaholics where he was I like, had Canada to. has Saint no John's. history, dude. And we're like, what? Yeah, they do. Every place has history. Uh, he's like, no. Oh, none. They have no history. Fuck Canada. And then we went and shot Game Over Man up there, and now you're like, I love Canada, dude. Canada. Okay. Rocks. Well, there was there's there's two things that well three things that work there. One, I had to defend the United States because writers on our show were coming for us. They were saying our national anthem they were, sucked. They said lots of things. They were coming things. for us as Americans, the fellow Americans. Yes, the U.S., my friend, okay. us. Okay. okay. So they were saying our. our... What, what's happening? Why are you yeah. so dude, defensive? Because, what's going on? Dude, he, Blake gets riled when he talks about patriotism. <laughs> <laughs> I was pissed. They were saying that they had a bet. Canada had a better national anthem and all this. So I was like, I had the hard stance to be, you know. I, I had to put up a fight for our country, guys, and you didn't have my back. Well, I had your back. I like our national anthem. I think yeah, it's fucking rocks, dude. I think it's great. It's I think, a, like, uh, hard it one goes. to sing. It goes. Uh, it fucking it slaps, as the kids <laughs> said probably a couple years ago and probably don't say anymore. <laughs> Drags. Like, do the kids still say slapped? Uh, no, not, well, now slap has, like, it's been, I, what do we say, like, gentrified? Like, people use it incorrectly. <laughs> like, it's, it's slap is just lost in the wind. How do they use it incorrectly? Like, what, these nachos slap? You can't say that, like, but people say that now. A lot of people from the Bay Area say food doesn't slap. A right. lot of people say, like, yeah, it smacks. It smacks. Food, food smacks. Food can smack, sure. Food but should slap, smack. You would think food should smack. Right. You should. <laughs> that makes yeah. total sense to me. Food should yes. smack and music slaps. Yes. Thank yeah, you. There, there you, go. you go. Right there. All right. All right. Hey, okay. Final, the, hey, our podcast should be called <laughs> The Final Word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro, no. if we had a button that said The Final Word right there. The final Word. Or it hey, says guess like. what? This is how it is. Yeah. We said it. It's a bagel. <laughs> that's the final word, all right? <laughs> and that's the final word. <laughs> that's it. Hey, that's uh -huh. our, you might be a redneck. You might, uh, here's your sign. And that's like the final <laughs> word. Oh, man, I have. Ben, 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 ben. <laughs> I like that. Okay, the other. 
the other thing that I didn't <laughs> so loud uh, know is that uh, or <laughs> at the time when I was m- taking the hard stance is I hadn't been to Canada before. Right. I right. So <laughs> that's what's my favorite bliss. part about that hard stance that you were taking is that's the American you, way. You've never been. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta say you hate a place before you've even visited or even looked up what it is. That's the whole ignorance. <laughs> oh, yeah, ignorance is bliss, bro. <laughs> Just pick a side and go. Like, go hard. Yeah, dude, you have to. That's the American way. <laughs> Double down, triple down, quadra down. I'm a ref. How many? Well, because I've been to what? Now I've been to Vancouver, which nice. I love. When the yeah. weather's nice, it Vancouver's is truly a heavenly spot. Beautiful I'm, right now. Yeah, I, and that's that's a huge asterisk. When the weather's nice. <laughs> when the weather's not nice, you're like, this is the grayest, wettest place I've ever been. Yeah. Uh, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it has some yeah. Seattle vibes, which is also sick. Yeah, I don't mind the Pacific Northwest. I don't mind it. I think yeah, it's all right. Cool. I think the weather's always okay. It's not. It's gray, but it's oh, not I like it, full uh, snow. Well, like I cold think when we shot it gets Game cold. Over, man, we it shot does. it in an abandoned, not an abandoned, but a old yeah. ice cream factory. Yes. Yeah. So it was cold outside to where you're like, oh, yeah, we got to wear a jacket, you know? And then right. inside, way colder. <laughs> Way oh, yeah. colder inside. <laughs> that was yeah. kind of why. Why? Yeah. So you're like you were so fucking frozen, well, and then you're like frozen from your day of work, and then you leave, and it's still cold, and you're like, this fucking sucks, though. That's because I'm a I'm a sweaty actor, and yeah, I you have are. to have it like freezing inside, or I will like sweat through my shirt. I well, do that is not prefer. The reason. It was the fact that it was an ice cream factory, so it was insulated. Like it was a big move. <laughs> It was a boss move by me, Adam. I oh, told yeah. Kyle. That was your first, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. Your first boss move? <laughs> it was. <it's... laughs> your first, first big swing and dick move was, it has, to be, it has to be 40 degrees inside at all times. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, baby. You lose. I do prefer to work in a cold environment as opposed to a hot environment. Absolutely. Right, yeah, I'll sure. pick that any day. Sure. Yeah, on the, but I do like a just right environment. I remember you know? the first season of Workaholics. I think I was like so, one, so much caffeine coursing through my uh-huh. veins at all mm-hmm. times. And also the nerves of like doing the first season of, you know, the show that we had such high hopes for. Sure. I would sweat through my shirts and they would give me uh, uh, my <laughs> under, I would had to wear an undershirt. Yummy. And then they, they like fastened, they like put, uh, like women like like the pens in my fucking armpits. What's up now? You yeah. had diapers in your armpits in season one of Workaholics. Yeah, it was like little diapers, like diapers or like yeah, or like, like little absorbers, like pads, like pads, a, like, a, yeah. like a period, like a period pad, but it's absorbing. It's for like vagina juices, maxi pad. Uh, but mine is for the pit juice. <laughs> wait, wait, why didn't we write this? Why didn't we write that into the show? Why? Did- <laughs> or at least have Jillian's character at. Oh, dude, I did, and then I did for like may, maybe that, that was like literally day one. I was juicing my pit so much, and then they were <laughs> like, the "Hey, guess what?" Like Cynthia was like, "I got, I got this for you," and and I'm like, "Oh, this is insane," but I guess I'll just rock it. And then I rocked it for like maybe two seasons because I didn't know any better. And then I finally like, she's like, "Ah, we don't have them today. I hope it's okay." And then I wore the shirt, and I wasn't nervous anymore because yeah. <laughs> I'd been doing it and I probably could have taken them off for the second day of work but I just never <laughs> did so I was just wearing these things uh, all on my pits for like God. a solid year I'm gonna, ch- I'm gonna have to check the tapes for that I want to see if you got those puffy armpits or you're just your arms aren't going down we thought you were swole <laughs> like Adam's in the gym dude his traps <laughs> yeah that's why I developed that that demamp swagger I just couldn't put my arms down to the right side no, they weren't that thick. They were pretty, they were, you know. Yeah. They were it was just like, enough to didn't. sop up some juices. Yeah, yeah, yeah a just feminine a, pad. A, a layer of protection. Yeah, just one yeah, layer of protection. All. Yeah, um, I like you had to do two or anything. Uh, the, dude, the, the um, <laughs> <laughs> not to get back to Canada, but I'm obsessed with it and I love it and I would like to talk about it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Vancouver, right? What's the next <laughs> one? What's the next one that you'd like to talk about? Dude, take us back. Take us back. What other place do you hate that you've never been that you're actually gonna love? <laughs> uh, did you? Where was your stance on Mexico? I feel like you 
we've lived in Southern California for long enough that you probably always kind of liked Mexico because Mexico's fucking awesome. Mexico rocks. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I I feel like like my parents and people they try to promote like a healthy fear. Not, maybe it's not even healthy. They just no, promote that is fear not. of Mexico, Can't, where they're like, yeah. Mexico is scary. You're gonna like bad things are gonna happen if you go there. The cartel, all this and. It, that is just not the case. No. Yeah. No, no, no. That is not the case. It is a, it admittedly the border towns are more dangerous than oh, the yeah. other side of the oh, border. Yeah. But if Don't you be... take a plane and just go to Cabo or whatever, it's perfectly fine. It's yeah. a very nice it's... place. I mean, I got married there. I hope I just didn't get married in the fucking <laughs> Yeah, no. You know. Mexico rocks. I like Mexico a lot. Mexico rules. I think I love going there. I, I would I would love to live there. And infinitely better food. Uh, fucking Canada's food. Oh my God. Canada I, struggles. I like Canada. I love okay. Canadian Canada struggles. people. Dude, their food game is... Mm. Diarrhea. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's, not, not, let's, that, not, no. let's not hit them that hard, Adam. That's... Oh, dude, fuck Canada's food. Yeah, no, you guys are being ridiculous. No, you're being stupid. You're being stupid. And you're generalizing a large place right now uh okay every place i've been their mexican food is not good i can get behind that so vancouver vancouver toronto montreal those three places i did not love the food vancouver has okay food they're they're all right but nobody has great yeah, mexican but, food no, nobody up true. in canada has great mexican food so we, mexican absolutely food true and that's specifically what i was thinking yeah i just want to yeah because we went to get mexican food at the place that yeah. everyone's like <laughs> Dude, it's yeah. actually pretty good for <laughs> Vancouver Mexican food. And then we went there, and it was like they're putting like Terrible. mayonnaise on shit. And and there was yeah. like you look Yummy. back there, and it's just like five fucking big-headed white guys working back there. And you're like, this yeah. isn't this is well, not this right. is not proper. At least Vancouver has a pretty big like Asian community, so you can get some sure, really yes. good Asian food out there. Yes, oh, I know that's yeah, a dude. large net to cast, but there's some really good places. I've had some bomb ass. Oh hell yeah. Oh, oh, dude! Oh, the other man. place I've so been is uh. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, you kind of got lost in that thought a little bit. Blake was like, "Bomb." Man. What What were you gonna say? Yeah, uh, what was going? To, you said I'll have some. Well, I was just thinking about like it, I think it was Vietnamese food, and uh -huh. it was like this pounded out like mm. like mm. veal dish. I wish I pounded had the out. name of the place. Pounded it, veal. It's so freaking good. Okay, mm. okay. It's very good. I'll, I'll, uh. When I went up to Vancouver, just, uh, I went to Bandita's. Do you remember that place? It was like a vegetarian burrito place. Oh, um, shout out. Yeah, that dude. Place. And, and I was like, oh, dude, was this just good when I went up there? And then I had it this last week, and it's fucking good, bro. Yes, dude. Yes. I'll go ahead and say it. Uh, what's up? What's up? This is infinitely worse than luggage talk. <laughs> It's not. This is infinitely no, worse than luggage talk. <laughs> uh, we're, we're talking about places. You don't remember half of them. Blake's like, ah, oh, I wish I could remember. It was good. It was a good meal I had once. I just remembered like, a restaurant. What are you doing coming out? You remembered a restaurant. So you're calling out no. a restaurant. No. Like, I, I am. I yeah. am doing that, yes. And I'm conversing with two of my friends. I know. I know. Which I believe is the job. <laughs> So hey, I'm just saying it's not, dude. It's it's all about the sweet content. We and <laughs> I'm telling you, as far as uh, boring topics go, uh -huh. this is worse than luggage talk. I stand <laughs> no, by luggage talk. I we right now we are the Vancouver and Canadian Board of Tourism. We are sending people. <laughs> To one of the best, dude. They're gonna flock to the city and go. Hey, there's like a uh, uh, like a pounded veal uh, <laughs> that you have to. I don't know where it's at. Yeah, I, I remember. Blake told me it's like, here. <laughs> that is true. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I'm. I don't know. I'll, hey, just wherever. I know there's Asian food here, but I'm here for the pounded veal, dude. I'm really actually trying to remember this burrito joint that. John Malto put me on. It's like next to a skate shop. It's so good. I wish I knew the name. Hated it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Budgies. Uh, it's called Budgies. Shout hey. out Budgies Burrito in Vancouver. 
I'll be going there. And now we have two places to <laughs> give flowers at the end of the episode. If you are in Vancouver, please hit up Budgie's. It is a delicious uh, burrito. It, that it's it's not necessarily like super Mexican authentic tasting, but it is delicious nonetheless. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, pizza's inside of it. It's it's uh, fries <laughs> and gravy on the inside of this tortilla. <laughs> it's a poutine Blake, yeah. burrito. Blake, genuinely, bro, thank you for the recommendation because I will be visiting Vancouver. Yes. And, and I will be hitting up budgies. Yeah, okay? but because hey, but what I are found you it putting your clothes in to get there? That's oh, the question. Uh, well, I haven't started talking about that, but I, <laughs> I've been thinking about getting new luggage. I've, I've been thinking about it. Hey, you can't do this, man. You can't do this. I need another size. I need another size. The rats pissed and shit over a lot of my luggage. One of my favorite pieces. I have a away carry-on. You know it's a problem when you that, call your luggage a piece. Uh, an away carry-on <laughs> that was a basketball. I hate this. I hate and this. it was gripped on the outside, much like a Spalding basketball. <laughs> Loved it. Wow, that's actually kind of tight. Dude, they pissed some shit on it. Got to get new luggage. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. sorry about uh, that. Blake, you just now, you went a few weeks ago to mm -hmm. the parade mm -hmm. and... For the uh, Golden State Warriors in San Francisco. Give us, give us the walk down of the day because it did. Do were you blackout drunk at any point of that day? Because uh, I was looking at photos and I didn't. I think I was a little disappointed that I yes. saw a light in your eyes. Oh, thank you, Adam. Yeah, thank you, Adam. Oh, come on, let the man grow. No, no, no. no I know. No, no, I know. No. And I'm, and I'm happy. Grow. I love him for this. I'm no. happy for him because it definitely made him a more reliable person to be on TV. <laughs> and I want the, I oh, want yeah. people to hire Blake and, and <laughs> right, have right, him right, get right. these cool experiences. But just as a friend who knows that Blake likes wanted to just chug fucking fish bowls full of vodka. <laughs> this, is, this is insane because you are literally peering into my soul and I'm so glad you clocked this. Dude, I, I was following along throughout the day and I just saw... I saw my Blake. I saw like the sober Blake, like things turn in in his head, like uh, I, like a clear vision. Yeah, and I was I like, oh no, I feel bad for him because I know, I know he wants to be uh, fucking blacked out right now. So drunk that I, I think it's a good idea to jump into the audience and crowd surf. Yeah, yes, I wanted to get there. Yes, okay. but wow. you are exactly what, right. What had happened though? Uh, well, uh, we started the day. I I brought my brother AJ, the young go hard out, and um. Oh, young go hard. See you in the streets. I by the way, okay, uh, put a pin in this real quick. Just followed AJ. I mean, maybe two days ago. I think I saw, uh, I think I saw your post about that and followed yeah. AJ. Yes. Um, but tell him. Uh, does he have? A, he has a serious girlfriend now, right? So yeah, that's why can't... I don't shout my brother out, and I yeah. already deleted his name off of that post because okay. I just don't want all the babes, the all yeah, the hoes, just... because he is oh, hot, dude. Blake yeah, is, he's a good looker. Uh, sorry, you're hot too, Blake. But AJ is, is maybe even hotter, dude. You should see the two of them in a room together. And, oh I mean, my god, it's, it's incredible. The fucking yeah. Pitt family over here. Okay, yeah, carry carry great. on. AJ, okay. you hot piece of ass. I hope you listen to this. Oh man, Michael Michael Pitt <laughs> Michael Pitt Brad Pitt. So yeah, my brother Michael came Brad. out with me. Uh, Who's and who? NBC Bay Area, they put us up in this really sick hotel called Hotel Via. It's directly across from Oracle. like Another hot, hot wreck. <laughs> where the Giants play. How's I've the never, food? Um, really good. I went to this place called The Stick. Ooh! They had really good um, buffalo wings. Sweet wreck. All right. <laughs> if you're in San Francisco, head on down to The Stick. Oh, it's a bagel. Oh, I, I chewed on the stick. Hey, and what what is it? And that's the bottom line. What is I was <laughs> swallowing the stick whole in San Francisco. Okay, and that's the, oh, wow. <laughs> and that's the bottom line. Wow. That's the bottom line. Okay, keep, yeah, keep going. All right. Okay, We're so the we authorities. <laughs> we stayed the night at the at Hotel Via, and we had to be on set or you know uh, at the NBC. Uh, Bay Area offices by by 7 a.m. So pretty. Ooh, pretty that's pretty, tough for you already. You yeah, already like pulled time. that out, huh? Hey, but that didn't mean I didn't come in ready. What does like, that mean? I was still ready to go. Like oh. I'm like line it up if <laughs> okay. it's shots, if it's shotgunning or whatever. But we pulled up to the offices and everybody was pretty on 
professional mode. Yeah. Right. I'm like, mm. <laughs> yeah. It did. It did seem pretty professional. Well, th- I mean, they're a professional news crew. <laughs> yes. So yeah, it wasn't I'm so- like it wasn't like the morning zoo crew. Yeah. Hooked you up. Totally. It wasn't. It wasn't like a local Bay Area hip hop radio morning morning station. The best. The Breakfast Club w- w- didn't give you a microphone and say go to town, Blake. Exactly. This was a proper news station. Yes. And also, I think a lot of them understood the weight of it. Like a lot of people watched that parade. A lot of yeah. a lot of uh, viral moments came Ooh. out of it. Like it was like, oh my god! But did we go viral? Did we go viral? <laughs> <laughs> it was Honey, an, it was an important moment. I know in my history. back is broken, but did we go viral? <laughs> That's Blake. Exactly. Yeah, that's Blake. I love it. This is midlife so, crisis. <laughs> so we, <laughs> we kind of like pulled up like ready to go, but everybody w- was, and, and this was my first parade. I've never gone to a sporting parade. Like it, it was a fucking magical experience. For being such a uh, Golden State fan, mm-hmm. it's crazy to me that you have, you, you haven't been to like a ton of like, uh, Parades. Like uh, <laughs> championship games or any of the parades or... Some of that comes up as far as championship games come... come sorry. Okay, let's <laughs> take it again, take it again real quick. He, he, he got caught on come <laughs> real quick. He said it. Um, was like, I gotta come, say come, it again. Come, come, I'm coming, come, I'm coming. Come, come, uh-huh. come, come. <laughs> um, that's purely... I don't pull up the games purely because of like superstition. Sometimes I just don't... I don't know. I get in my head about being a jinx or whatever, but... Well, yeah, you're super stressed out. Oh, you think out of the... Uh, <laughs> 20,000 people that are in the stadium, you being there is going to cause... I know. I know it's stupid. I know it's... Cause them to win or lose? Is that real? Is that a real thing that goes on in your head, though? Like, for real? Yes. Yes, we talked about how I would, like, was... Oh, my God. But you don't even go enjoy the game because you're afraid that you might make them lose? What is that? Kind of. Like, I... Oh, my God. Let's crack into that skull. This is... I'll lean forward to that. What's going on in your brain? I get routines. I get, like, you you just don't want to change anything. I'm not the only guy who has... Sports superstitions. No, I'm not saying you're, this is unique. I actually think yes. that this is like this is very universal. I feel On like par. there's a lot of people that have this feeling with sports. Well, I mean, I'm a I'm a very big Clippers fan and a basketball mm-hmm. fan in general. I feel like our fandom is probably about at the same level. But I mm-hmm. I go to these games. Yeah, but Adam, I hate to say it, but the Clippers have not won the championship. <laughs> bully! <laughs> bully! Uh, bully! Adam, so, okay, let me ask this question, though. Adam, did you do you ever, like, not go to the games and have, like, fuck, if I would have gone, they would have won? Do you have that type of uh, no, thought never, process No, never, because I know I'm not playing. I've never played. They never gave me the ball and, and made me do a thing. <laughs> yeah, that seems very grounded in reality. Good answer. Yeah, yeah, I feel like no. if they gave me the ball and did and I was supposed to do a thing, then I would go like, well, I, yeah. I'm i the reason we lost the game. <laughs> I'm subbing myself out. <laughs> I, I That's mean, on me, fellas. I, I know. I, I thought I could handle it. Uh, my knee blew out when I tried to uh, laterally move either direction. So, and that's on me. That's I should have passed it to Kawhi. That's my bad. Hey, and I tried to, but these guys are seven feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> Their arms are super long. At that point, I didn't even have a choice to to pass it. I just just ran it out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, I just gave it to the other team. Yeah. I just handed it over. Why did you give it to me? Like, why would you? Hey, I got scared. I got scared. I don't think that's on me. That's uh, a, that's I so could because I, I do. I have like a an absurd. Like, I, I don't know. I've always been like this. I just think I can do things that I can't do. Right. You know, like, I, I just confidence. have a confidence. A confidence that, <laughs> confidence. like, it's probably not earned all the time. Sometimes it is. And sometimes yeah. I can do it. And I think it's a healthy dose to have. Uh, but I did a celebrity baseball game uh, a few years back. And there, there's – we're in Royal Stadium in Kansas City. And I just said I was going to be shortstop. Yeah, you're like. I was like, I'm shortstop, oh, dude. Yeah, dude. I haven't played baseball since I'm I was like 12 up. years old. I'm like, <laughs> dude, I suck so bad. I just had like balls ricochet off my throat. I was like, I, I threw once to first base, it landed in the dirt, and then I'm like, oh, never again is it gonna land in the dirt. 
I fucking threw that 25 feet over this guy's head. It landed in the fucking stands. I'm just like, I, I sucked so bad. But when I was a kid, I was like, oh, no, I'm pretty fucking good. I could play. But also, I stopped playing when I was in the sixth grade. So I did. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I did not have that skill set anymore. Maybe even like I was, I feel. It fades. It fades, Turn, brother. Turns out uh, it fades. <laughs> Yeah, that, it could also be an instance because like when you're a kid, you don't have a lot of naysayers. Like, I don't know, even if you well, weren't great at baseball, yourself, I don't know if you're <laughs> I don't know when you're going home. If your dad's like, man, you fucking sucked. Like, give up. Let's quit this sport. And not who Dennis. Yeah. Yeah. This shit's important. <laughs> that he called me over and be like, that's but support. I think I love that my... he got the name of the podcast wrong, by the way. Uh, that's my favorite part that of that. Important. That shit's important. <laughs> uh, I think some of subtle, my like subtle nod. Look, yeah, I, love I think it. some of my fear of attendance <laughs> is I, I went to some games and the Warriors or the Sharks or the A's lost, and then I would see in certain mentions where they're like, "Don't fucking go because you're a fucking jinx." Like my cousin would hit me up. Oh, people would say this to you. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's not. It wasn't now a lot I feel of people, for or it's just your cousin who know who can crawl into your Justin. skull. Who's got Justin? Cousin Justin climbed into Blake's head and uh, caused him to not appreciate. I mean, the Golden State Warriors have built a dynasty, and you've yes. never been there for like the championship yes, ring I have. ceremony. Sheep. Championship. Yes, championship. I have. Yes, oh, you I have. have. Yes, yes. You didn't catch it. You didn't catch yes. championship. That's it. That's it. I'm not going to go deeper. Yes, I have. This The second championship, I was there. Oh, you I were there when they yeah. won the game and you were there that night. That was the one where like where you we went, went on party with, with them. The team. Yeah. Okay. Very, yeah. Okay. Very magical okay. moment. So, all right. You have, you have been. I, for whatever reason, I thought... I thought you didn't go to the game and met up afterwards, but you were at that game. Yeah, I was at that game, and that okay. was, and it felt amazing. Like being in the building for that, I, I, you can never replace that feeling. So, and that was number two, and so this is number four. So why didn't you go back? Yeah, because somebody said you're a jinx. Fuck that. The, them uh, saying that is a jinx. Flip that yeah. shit back on them. You say that, that jinxes them. Dude, double jinx them. No, you're the jinx. No, you're double the jinx, jinx though. <laughs> no yeah. reverse double jinx. <laughs> yeah, no, that wouldn't have jinxed it unless you no would have called it a jinx. jinx. You put that out in the universe. That's a universal jinx. Uh, hey, guess what? Jinx to you, infinity times. So, jinx back. Jinx, no jinx back. No takes back. back. There's no, there's, there's no a jinx, jinx back. back infinity. Be up, Buzz Lightyear. Right. Buzz Lightyear, jinx back. I inter hey, Kyle, you know what? I internalize a lot of stuff, and no. that's oh. not my first oh my reaction. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I mean, you know, the buck stops here. Hold I just on, want I got... you to I want you to enjoy your sports because you are so stressed out, and I am nervous for your your just body when you when it gets to these seasons. Oh, I, and have I you want seen you to body, dude. I'm not nervous for it. Yeah, man. It's it tightens. Yeah, it, but uh... stress comes out in different ways, you know. Stress manifests in different ways for everybody and i i am balding this is a wig <laughs> this is not this is not well, something you that you deserve it? you do not deserve to hold that burden of an entire sports team I, on your shoulders because somebody said you're a jinx i don't want that for you well here's why it here's why it bugs me and it's not blake's health blake is gonna outlive Thank us you. all uh, for sure you. i'm for sure the first one dying he's the human cockroach uh, yes, sir. I'm just bummed that he doesn't. It, they've been on this amazing run. He should be there for every championship. They should like. He should be sitting with the owner in the owner's box. Like yes. he, his kids are sitting wow, like on Blake's lap. Dude. He's taking photos like Santa Claus. They're giving him courtside seat. He, he should be so plugged into the organization. Well, Adam, you know as well as I do that when it comes to these, uh, at least NBA events, no matter how elevated you are in the fandom it still costs a pretty penny to attend these things like exactly blake and that is why uh <laughs> we got to do more podcasts yes. I, i'll do whatever i can to get you more money so you can experience this for your team i'm running out of gas over here brother uh, what's up no wait what hold on <laughs> <laughs> You're okay, right? No, I ran out of gas one time, man. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I remember you talked about it on the pod. That's right, I remember. Was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he ran out of gas, and then we're all, then we all kind of checked in with his financial situation. We're like, how are you doing, buddy? Gonna... Yeah, well, hey, well, if you guys do want to uh, go down that path, if we're really gonna use this as something, just me airing shit out, bro. I got yeah, please, dude, please. There's, there's just bad news, man. Oh, what up? Oh, hang on. Yeah. What's Why up? don't you cry about it? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's going okay, on? Okay, but my seriously, friend? what is it's it? It's a bagel. Dude? Hey, hey, Bro. shut up, shut up, real quick. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Woke got canceled. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, the, the sports center. <laughs> the sports center. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, it fucking sucks. I mean, this will come out probably at, after people have heard about it. But yeah, oh, I hope so. you know, <laughs> see what they do, dude. They never even like announce that things get canceled. You probably didn't even need to air that out because uh, what they what they do is just let it float off into nothing and That's have true. Hope, hope people never remember that it was going to come back. Because <laughs> if you do announce it, then you get a whole bunch of flack. Uh, they call me the G. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. They might be on to something. Wait, man. didn't we have? Wasn't there something, Blake? We should talk about this because this is it. Isn't there something like you were like uh, the kiss of death, weren't you? I remember us talking about your. Yes. <laughs> this is wait, huge. so this wait. actually goes kind of deeper. Blake. Thing. I thought Blake was just sort of like, you know, I'm remembering trying to find something thing, fun yeah. to talk about. Blake Anderson is the jinx. What I'm the was cooler. The jinx. The cooler. What was it? Yeah. There was multiple last episodes or last seasons? Seasons of shows. All of my like, if you pull up my IMDb, <laughs> besides workaholics, most of my first gigs, I would go on shows and then they would get canceled <laughs> that season, <laughs> right. or they would call it quits. Like I did. Uh, what it, they're did like, you <laughs> hey, you show up one day and uh, you you show up to do a bit on Entourage, and Jeremy Piven's like, hey, guess like, what? I'm done. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> That's what it seemed like. Yeah, I'm fucking done, dude. I don't know. Fuck it. Send in the clowns. <laughs> doesn't seem worth it anymore. I'm working with guys like this. It doesn't seem worth it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I went on Big Bang Theory, and they were just like, I don't know, millions of dollars. Fuck it, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they're paying us like two million dollars an episode. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if it's worth it. We gotta work with guys like this. <laughs> Did yeah, you see who's dead. out there on stage? Did you see him? He's on stage waiting to act. I'm not going out there. I'm not going Millions. out there. I don't care how much they're paying me. <laughs> not ah. worth it. Not so worth so it. that was one. It was Big Bang Theory. And then Big I think Bang there Theory. was Entourage as well. Entourage. And I think Entourage. Yeah. Also House, right? House MD. Par Parks Parks and Rec. Did they House did they wrap Rec. it up uh, when you did that? Yes. I, well, I mean, I was in the last episode. <laughs> Okay. That's four. Okay, did that's you... four. That is a hot run, man. Uh, dude, I know. What else the hell did I bury? And you were in the last episode of Woke, so and, five. Yeah, and uh, Workaholics. And Workaholics. <laughs> you are in the last episode of both of those shows. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I'm the Grim Reaper, baby. <laughs> to kiss Coming death. for you. Coming oh, for you. Yeah, dude. this goes deeper. This all tracks. Uh, that being said, if any executive producer or showrunner is... Uh, uh, Blake would, is, a, is a great, great team player. He'll come in, my... he'll crush his scenes. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't read too much into this. Uh, yeah, there's, we're just ribbing him. <laughs> we're ribbing him. We're ribbing him, Shonda Rhimes. Was I on the last, uh, was I on the last se season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine? <laughs> Were you? Were you on the last? This is incredible. This is incredible. You were on the last season of what? Sorry, I wasn't shutting. Uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, maybe. Arrested Development. That was kind of a a comeback season. I think they only wanted to do one. Well, right, but you were in the first episode with your yeah, friends. Yeah, we were we were in that. Yeah. <laughs> so that you were protected. You had two others. Yeah. Two, two other others. Ones. The kiss of death. Yeah. The kiss of wow. death. Wow. Wow, yeah. Blake, it runs deep. It all tracks, buddy. Well, I guess they, I didn't, I, yes, I didn't have to. Yeah, like, bring it, no, you're right. Don't go, so, <laughs> don't go have a fun life and go to don't. basketball games that you enjoy. <laughs> yeah. I don't, because you, you're right. No. You will, that, that just, franchise will go ice cold if, if you start showing up to games all the time. My bad, brother. I mo I mostly wanted to just, you know, highlight that what was over because I just had such a great time on that show and I really fell in love with the cast and, the director and the writers and uh, I'll miss them. I'm sad Dude. we don't get to do another season. Yeah, I was and I'm, I'm actually mourning this I'm, loss right now with yeah. you because I was I'm a fan, a genuine you, fan, genuine yeah, fan of, of the show. 
Did not. Sheer, Lamorne, T. Murph, they're all great. And like just bumbling around Vancouver mm-hmm. with them the was, was uh, I'll never forget it. They were, they were friends. And what was the name of that breaded veal, or that pounded <laughs> veal spot that you Dude. just won't oh, shut up about, God man? damn, I gotta Did like Did you take them it. to Budgies? <laughs> I, I think I went Budgie's solo mission. I'm going. I'm going solo. Uh, so what? We, so what is there to do? I remember when we were in Vancouver, mm-hmm. we just went to that one nightclub, like a few times. Um, uh, I remember being so drunk that they allowed us to stay. Not what's it? Code Orange. Orange number five. It closed, and then they like workers were like eating pizza, and then we just ate pizza with them. Where the hell was that? Oh, it was that yeah. nightclub that we would go yes. to. Yes, is yeah, that the same? I right. see. I wasn't going with you guys because I was freshly sober and could not yeah. handle it at that time. But yeah. absolutely, yes. But is that where you got in? You came to set and you're like, dude, I got into a fight last night, or I almost got into a fight. <laughs> Who, did I you did? throw? Yeah, I remember you telling me something about like you threw a Red Bull can at oh, someone. Yeah. And, oh, and wow. I remember Uncovered this. Uncovered mystery. I kind of remember that. I don't remember this. See, I, I remember this because I remember yeah. clocking yeah. it as like, well, I was getting good sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't. I, mean, I didn't now. get drunk the night before. I would say maybe even at all on that movie because we were working yeah. every goddamn day. So it wasn't like. That was a that was a weekend endeavor. It, it must have been a weekend. I, I won't. I won't. I, yeah, I I bet it was a weekend. He's a pro. Adam's yeah. a pro, and I, <laughs> I, I used to kiss not a dad. Be, I mean, goddamn. Oh, uh, this wasn't it, house party. It, yeah, this wasn't house party or uh, <laughs> the first Pitch Perfect movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that was just like a dude was really being a dick to Adam at the door, and he kind of like had awesome. enough of it. Like, yeah. <laughs> Some of his rock star at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really remember that, but hey, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, sorry I brought it up. I don't know. It's possible. I was I was probably thinking of that breaded veal spot I couldn't wait to get to. I was like, hey, we got to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not breaded. It's it's pounded, pounded very pounded. flat. It's raw. Yes. It's raw. It's oh, delicious. Raw pounded veal, <laughs> man. That reminds me of, of Durr's, the raw meat. Gosh, I miss him. I miss him. <laughs> no. Fuck that guy, bro. Yeah, dude. He's, he's dead to us until the next podcast. I would love to keep talking about Vancouver. Okay. Okay. You know what we never did that I've always wanted to do? What is what? this? Like what? Vancouver. What? I think it's Vancouver Island. I think there's like literally like a ferry you can take to an yeah. island. And there's a bunch of like yeah. breweries and shit. I've never done that. That's what you do is you oh go explore. God. You hit mm-hmm. the mountains. You go to Squamish. You go. Well, that's not Vancouver. Oh. Yeah, that's outside of Vancouver. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't say you got to go to Southern California and then <laughs> drive go up to, to Vegas. Northern yeah. California. <laughs> go, to, go to Vegas. <laughs> you got to go to L.A. and go to San Francisco. It's so. Oh, cool. Dude, you have drive to LA, but then just keep going north to Oregon. And it is so beautiful. It is so nice, dude. It's really nice. There's trees. There's so many trees in Los Angeles if you go to Oregon. If you keep driving. If you keep driving uh, from from LA, you can make it to Colorado if you just keep driving. <laughs> yeah. And you can go so anywhere in the world. There is so many trees in LA Dude. if you go to Oregon. <laughs> if you go to Oregon, <laughs> you just keep heading north. This is the cool. way. Yeah, but I do want to exp- maybe Kyle, when you're in the Couve, check out uh, Vancouver Island. It sounds like a fun time. Yeah, yeah, I would love to. Yeah, well, that's the plan. I'm up there scouting right now, but you know, these things are. They're all so fragile once you get to the once you get to the go line. It's like yeah. you have to have the go a, line. Starting, starting. a lot of people call it the starting line, but some people <laughs> some people who uh, don't play okay. sports uh, call it go line. And I'm I also it works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a, that's that pickleball mentality like for go you. position. Yeah, yeah you and know. Wait, is there because we still have yet to play pickleball, but uh, I saw right, that you're right, posting. Right. You're posting cool like time lapse videos of tennis. Courts. I'm owning it. I turning, decided to own it. I'm owning it. Yes. Yeah, turning into pickleball courts. Uh, so where's the go line on a pickleball court? <laughs> well, it's, it's the line you have to serve it. You know, there's a couple of lines you have to pay attention sure, to. Sure, sure. Yeah, it's probably it's a little different. Yeah, the go line's yeah. at the back of the court. It's uh, yeah. the furthest one away from the net on either That's side. Okay. How, Official how, term: how, go line. How close are you to this Vancouver go line? <laughs> And that's the last word. <laughs> and, hey, 
Hey. Don't even question us. That's the last word. <laughs> That's the last word. I don't word. give a fuck. Mm. Um, pretty close, dude, I guess. Like, you know, pretty close to going. I, I hope that it happens. I have to, you know, I need to. We're, we we got Brought some T's, dot some I's. I mean, I hate to, you know, we got on shadows. Jinx? We got a, we, yeah, on shadows. Yeah, we got a, a second. We no, got a no five jinx. and six. Don't talk to this about Blake. I thank God you guys aren't in the same room. <laughs> no jinx, no jinx. Yeah, no jinx, jinx here. But you can't you know, jinx over Zoom. I don't think. So uh, so yeah, we got five and six on shadows. So I got to get over there. His house just starts burning behind him. <laughs> oh, you guys got a two season pickup on shadows? Yeah, oh, that must yeah. feel nice. So Ooh, yeah, I know. I, that's baby. why I didn't want to rub it in, Blake. I didn't uh, want to do that. So you got two, and I got none. <laughs> or maybe I got yours. <laughs> It's like I might have yeah, got yours. You got, <laughs> got negative. Let me see uh, if they'll. Let me see if they can yeah. trade. Maybe ah. we can trade a season for a season. Is that a Hulu program? What's going on? Actually, ladies? yes, it is, sir. <laughs> oh, motherfucker! Uh, you bitch. stole our season, you son of a bitch. Oh, five son and six, dude. Come on, I didn't. You stole our season. Well, that was great. Remember when that started to happen to us with workaholics? That was such like a freeing moment to go like, oh, I do have work for the next couple years. And yeah. to go just like, Dude. oh, we're not going to be, we're not going to run out of gas. Dude, yeah. it is, yeah. Um, I mean, you know, for whatever it is, I mean, losing woke is definitely a hit. We have more stuff lined up, but it is a fucked up ass industry. I mean, as rewarding and cool as Hollywood is, you really have to stay in the mindset of stay hungry and like always be looking for the next job because you just don't know. Yes, it's, it's. Yes, it's really something. Yes, it's sir. quite taxing on mental health. I will say so, <laughs> dude. I'm 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 running. I'm charging towards the go line, and I'm not even clear. I know you never know. You know dude. it's not even clear, and it happens. You never you're, know. You're right at the go line. I'm so, I'm like fucking couple feet from the and go a lot line. Of people bro. Like, is that the goal line? <laughs> it is it. <laughs> It's, it's the start couple, line. I'm like a few feet from the goal You're line. You're basically there, dude. And you, okay. you bend down to tie your shoes. Oops. Oops. They're good. They're, uh, they, someone they came moved the and court. took the goal line away. <laughs> yeah, they moved yeah. the court. Why did they move the court? I got to go find it again. Fucked up, brother. Hey, but this is the lifestyle we choose. We're freaking renegades of fuck. Yeah, we're nuts. We're fucking nuts, bro. We are still chugging along with the Workaholics movie, Blake. So yes. you you will have that to look forward to. Thank and, God. Uh, yes. Thank yes. you, God. Thank you, God. <laughs> yes. I'm and excited uh, for all of God. us to get back on set together. I'm really looking forward to it. I think that'll be... Yeah. An absolute blast. Uh, it'll be very fun. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. God, I'm excited. It's so fun about uh, just working with your best buds and feeling so free. Like the... Like we've all seen each other's dicks. We've seen each other's dicks. <laughs> so never like, seen mine. I feel Fold like up. I have. I never gonna. I. It, well, it's... <laughs> I feel like maybe the hair like encased it, so I didn't really get a see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've caught a you've caught a glance though. <laughs> yeah. We've seen your pubic mound, and that's I saw what a pubic counts. mound, but I didn't. I see a, a the right. rat king that we call your dick. Uh. Yeah, rat kings are real, dude. They're real. <laughs> that's how that's uh. how Blake knows they're real. <laughs> uh. Let's rat king our dicks together, dude. That's that's, that's, that's the movie. That's that's the third act. We finally cracked it. <laughs> Yeah, we all fall asleep and we wake up and somehow our dicks have tied each other together. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good part. I like the part where everybody falls asleep. Yeah, we all fall asleep. <laughs> Oh, that's hey, a that's just, movie. Dude, that's, a, that's the ticking clock of the movie is who's yeah. going to fall asleep first. That's half the movie is us falling asleep. That's riveting. That's riveting. Like, yeah, that, that'll move the, the story forward. Hey, buddy, are you asleep? Are you asleep yet? <laughs> no, not yet. No, hey, not get yet. close enough that our dicks can wrap up together <laughs> when we do fall asleep. Why? That seems weird. No, I'm really cold. I can't sleep. I'm really cold. Like, oh. get closer. I'm really cold. Let's take all of our clothes off and lay on top of each other and maybe our dicks will wrap it's up body heat. It's body heat. Body heat only works if you let the skin touch. Right, mm. right, right. Oh. Okay, I'm almost falling asleep. Uh, We're so uh, tight and warm now. I've almost fallen asleep. Good night. Can you sing me a song? Oh, he's out. He's out. Oh, Adam's out too. 
Dude, that's me. I'm sleeping now. <laughs> hey, the fucking workaholics <laughs> guys movie dude. fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> dude, that fucking movie blows, bro. And we slow fade to black. Yeah, cut and to then we the hear, rat wait, king is born. Wait, wait hold the, on. They they woke up and their dick. This movie rocks, dude. Their dicks <laughs> are tied together. <laughs> stick with it. Stick with it. You know, just stick with it. You trust these guys? You trust their taste? Stick with it. Yeah. It's gonna pan out. <laughs> It's gonna be good. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Are there any uh, tape backs, apologies, <laughs> giveaways, epic oh, slams? So uh, man. So yeah. Many. Yeah, dude. Yes. So many, yes. Man. Epic slams. Um, hey, I would like to, Kyle. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, what's saying up? That you're that. I don't know. I don't remember if I've seen your dick. Then I can't. You haven't. I no! think I have. I'm sure I have. Your whole your underwear had so many holes in them, and you'd walk around the house with the underwear with the holes all over the front of the dick area. I'm sure I saw your. Well, dick. Yeah, you probably saw my balls. I'm sure I've seen your dick. You might have saw some. You saw some chewing gum. I've definitely seen Durs's dick. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure Not I've seen great. Blake's dick. But I'm sorry about uh, really? yeah, saying cool. that your dick looked like the Rat King and kind of bringing that back. It's all good. It's my favorite Turtles character. <laughs> that all shit's good. Okay. Good. I'm glad you. I'm glad you liked it. I did I didn't want to offend, you know. I appreciate that. That's my new thing is not offending. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good stance. No, no offense. Oh, we'll add no offense. <laughs> Dude, that's so good for a comic. Yeah, no offense. Well, they no just had no offense. <laughs> no offense. Uh, that was that was one of my favorite workaholics bits was uh, just say the meanest shit yeah, the world yeah, yeah. to a person and then say <laughs> and, no and then say no offense. Yeah, man, it's just like <laughs> you're no super offense. Ugly, well, no obviously, offense. no offense taken, <laughs> but. You're, you're not I mean conventionally no handsome. No offense. Yeah. No offense. <laughs> no offense. You should have had. You should have had braces. Taken. <laughs> yeah. No, you definitely should have had braces. No offense. No but offense. You should have braces. <laughs> well, obviously, I won't take offense. No offense taken. But oh gosh. you're 23 pounds overweight. No offense. No Ooh. offense. No offense. There's a lot you could do about that. No offense. No offense. <laughs> You gotta try a little harder. No offense. No offense. No offense. I'm just saying, seems like you don't uh, try. No <laughs> I'd like to give a special shout out to uh, this the cities in Canada or provinces or province, <laughs> province, bro, province or whatever they are. We're not sure. Don't yeah, say province. Blake's been twice. <laughs> I'd like to shout out Edmonton <laughs> to one place. One city. It's, been, it's been to Vancouver. No, I'd like to shout out Edmonton, all my Edmonton homies. <laughs> And also okay. to Calgary, which I've also been to Calgary. <laughs> oh, you have? So, yes, and I'll talk about it on the next pod on our hot, 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 hot Canada what? talk. What? Oh, I'll go ahead and <laughs> Canada talk. Hey, hey, hey. hey good, we, we, hot, 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 we would like to recommend some restaurants that we don't know the name of. <laughs> yeah, Pounded Veal. That you sort of can explain uh, one dish. Hey, if you're in Edmonton and you want a good hot dog, there's one out there. I'm not going to tell you where it is, <laughs> but there's one it. out there. You have to find it. <laughs> Let me know if you found that really, really good hot dog oh, in Edmonton. Yeah, if you're in Toronto, there is a gyro place. <laughs> yep, yep. Just, and and I'm not going to say which one, but there is one for <laughs> sure. Montreal for also, it. Montreal also, best poutine at a little <laughs> shop called... Um, hot, hot, uh, hot, hot, hot. Fuck, Here fuck, we fuck, go, fuck. hot hey, rack. Hey, and that was another episode of <laughs> uh, this, this is, 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 is,